Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today. We've got a bottle of Hicks and Porter Baltique by the Brasserie Le Deux Frères. Oh yes, another beer by the Deux Frères. So I got my Deux Frères glass and my Deux Frères shirt. And I'm. this was purchased at the same time as the Imperial IPA that was had recently that was not fresh at all. From the Sudbury Beer Store. Kind of assuming this is also not going to be fresh, but it being a Baltic Porter at 8.5%, this should still be more or less just fine. So actually, and I keep forgetting to do this, last couple friggin' ones, show you the damn bottle cap. The cool little goldenness. Let's crack her open. That was close. Let's see what we've got. I'm assuming we're gonna have blackness. Like black as I don't know something that has blackness in it yeah that was just the best analogy ever that actually looks really nice ever get that picture all of the black in the beer but a little bit of the red comes through there with the light so it's not you know a little bit lighter than I thought it was gonna be I guess you could say Oh, that smells good. It's got that like roasty kind of malty, just lovely aroma going on. Oh, let's give her a shot. Wow. There's a lot of chocolatey kind of presence in there. Oh, definite kind of a little bit of a warming sensation. Like the, the alcohol is there in this beer. And now that it's actually empty, I think I can possibly see the date. We have, I don't really know. There's like a bubble in the way, I can't see. I can't even tell, it's like smudged away. No idea but it seems okay. The contrast of the lettering and the label itself, that's like impossible to read. Even though it's it's French, so I can't read it anyway. We'll maybe do a little bit of Google translating type stuff. There's a 99.99732% chance that there will be a break taken during this vlog because this is, this'll kill me. <laughs> In a good way. It'll, it'd be like a pleasant suicide if I just chug this. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And, you know, thank you. Cheers to the, the two frères, the two brothers. Good guys. Makers of very nice beer. This is delightful. Oh. It's just, it's so, it's got like a really rich flavor profile to it I guess that's what I that's how I'd call it that's how I'd classify it. rich almost like a creamy mouthfeel I am a fan yes I am mm. wow um brasserie le deux frères le deux frères the number two right that's what it is right right yep brasserie le deux frères.com and then you can go through, you gotta tell them you're over 18. Cause Quebec, drinking age is eight, drink, drinking age, yes. Drinking age is 18. I wanna say, I'm not sure about the rest of, I know in Ontario it's 19. I don't know about the rest of the country. It's kind of funny that, you know, as a country, we don't have a unified drinking age. It's kind of unusual. Oh, that is a hell of a beer. I'm kind of wondering, 
if I can find my mouse, there it is, and pop up my other browser, and possibly, let's see if they have this beer in there with the, I never checked for the translation. Hickson. That's what I want. Hickson. Hey, we do. I don't know if it's going to be the same though. Unconventional black lager. Like, I can't even see this. It's so impossible to read. I want to say that says something lager noir. No. Blah, blah, blah. Unconventional black lager. That could be unconventional. I think this is pretty much what it says. That's nice. We can all, we can look at this, maybe. <laughs> Malts are Munich, Vienna, chocolate, Fuggle hops, some other malt. I can't read this at all. 30 IBUs. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's insane. I love your labels, two brothers, but this one's going a bit far in the... Like, it's... All you can really see is the beer. There's so much more on there, though, that you just can't really see. Does this say lager on it? Weird. Well, this unconventional black lager will surprise you with its smoothness as well as its woody and fruity notes with, in the background, a slight perception of chocolate and caramel. This unconventional dark lager... Really? You're going to say unconventional black lager than unconventional dark lager? Will surprise you... Okay. Somebody slightly screwed up while making this translation on the website. And it literally says the same thing, except it calls it a black lager than dark. Will surprise you with its smoothness, wood, fruit, notes, and slight perception, chocolate, and caramel. That is pretty funny. And not in the background part. Weird. Yeah. There's so much chocolate presence in that beer. They make a session IPA. They make a quadruple at 9.1. Yeah. And then we got the Imperial IPA, the regular IPA. I think after having this, the only beer I have not had is the session IPA. I'm not sure what the Charles Henry section, which if you don't know, it's, it's so awesome. The two brothers have a whole line of beers that are named after their grandpa. That is so awesome. The white, the amber, there's a, a Charles Pe a Charles Henry IPA. I would like to try that, and a blonde ale, and a stout, and a pilsner. Holy crap, I've tried the, I wanna say it was the white and the amber that were sent to me. I, I need to try all of your beers. There's still a few left. I like that. I like that. That is so nice. Wow. Mmm. I wonder. Just wondering if Untapped had the description better, but no, it's got the same thing I just read, but in French. There, there's more on here. Like, it would literally take me an hour to. Like, figure out what everything says. Because it's not like the font that you have on here as well is not the easiest to decipher. Like, there's something about Matthew and Nicholas. Those are the two brothers. Matthew? I don't know. I do not know. I wonder. Hickson Baldic. Porter description. Random. I doubt it. I really do doubt it. Oreo! Stop that right now. No need for the whining. He was 
I let him out for a pee and a poo just before I did this vlog. And that's how he, that's how he thanks me. Bastard. Maybe on, it's, it's on the beer store website. I doubt it. No, it's the, they all just say the unconventional black lager surprise you, blah, 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 blah. But there's more to say. Damn it. Now I've been recording for 12 minutes. So, uh, I'll be back after I drink this delicious beer and stuff. Yeah. I definitely took some time and enjoyed the hell out of this beer. Like, that was... Oh, the power went out while I was gone and the clock on my oven is flashing. I'll just look over here. Yeah. No. And we're back. Ooh, yeah. I definitely took some time. Enjoyed the hell out of this beer. It's, it is fantastic. Like, oh, it's one of the most, like, absolutely fantastic porters I've ever had in my life. I'm drinking the last. Oh. Brasserie Le Deux Frères, your Hickson Porter Baltique rating. Oh, that's a 10. Damn right. So much of the 10. All of the 10. Every little bit of the 10. I love that beer. I need to try your Imperial IPA Fresh. That one kind of made me sad. But, random thought in my head. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash that like button. You want to see more of my videos? Smash that subscribe button. Got some saying? Put a comment in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Yeah, randomly actually did try to go into Google Translate and do this. And like I said, there's a few words in here that I can't tell what the letters are enough. And I couldn't get the translate thing to work. And it was, it was basically just looking like a bunch of gibberish. So I gave up.